And Rachel now joins us, digital anchor from the NBC4i Digital Center, with a look at the stories making headlines online this morning. Rachel, I thought you were a meteorologist for a second. I know. Okay, good thing I'm not, you know, I wouldn't be too good at it. Well, good morning, <laughs> Christine. Top trending online. Construction is underway on a variety of new housing units at the former site of Mount Carmel West Hospital in Franklin 10. The facility closed in 2019, transferring services to other locations. Now, by late 2019, demolition began on what was once Ohio's oldest hospital. Nearly four years later, construction is in its early stages with plans to build dozens of homes and four stories of apartments. Officials say the complex will take longer to construct, but should be completed by late next year. For more on those projects, just go to NBC4i.com. Celebrity chef Guy Freire is opening a new restaurant in Columbus. Now, according to a permit under review by the city, a restaurant is set to launch inside Scioto Downs on South High Street. An application filed states the restaurant's plans call for interior demolition, build out and all new finishes within the casino. Now, there are 17 flavor town hotspot concepts, including a taco joint, sandwich shop, pizza parlor, chop house and a smokehouse. The permit filing does not specify which concept could be opening in Columbus. And it's time to start planning for the weekend, and there are so many events happening here in Central Ohio. Grove City Arts in the Alley will be at Town Center Park Friday through Sunday. Also happening this weekend is the Latino Heritage Month Parade and Festival. That's Saturday morning at 11. Also Saturday, Ohio State takes on Western Kentucky at Ohio Stadium. Kickoff is at 4 o'clock. For more events happening, including concerts, festivals, and more, just go to NBC4i.com. And believe it or not, several cities and towns across central Ohio have set dates for trick-or-treat. The Mid-Ohio Regional Planning Commission recommends when October 31st falls on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, trick-or-treating should be held on the 31st. But when Halloween falls on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, it should be held on the Thursday prior to October 31st. And for this year, most of the dates fall on the 31st. And of course, we have a full list of all the trick-or-treat dates and times in central Ohio to find your local time, you can just go to the story on NBC4i.com.